Okay, so while Shell's in the kitchen getting the, uh, the bird ready, the Dutch oven, I got a little fire going here. I used some uh, small hardwood, like some little round pieces of birch. That works pretty good. It's nice and hot. It burns for a long time, but it doesn't burn too long. It should make some really nice coals that we can move around. It'll be about the right size. Got my tripod out here. Beautiful day today. This is Shelly at Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Uh, we're doing something special today. We're not going to be in the kitchen very long. We're going to go outside and cook. We are. We have the Dutch oven out, and we have Scott's got the fire going outside, and we are going to do a chicken in the Dutch oven over the fire. So I'm just going to tell you what I did. Uh, to everything so that to get it ready to go on the fire so first of all I chopped up onions and potatoes the potatoes and onions are from the garden the on the onions were small <clears throat> so I did three small ones and the potatoes were pretty good sized about your hand palm of your hand uh, and so I chopped those up four or five I really like potato so um, I did that. I spatchcocked the chicken. So spatchcocking is when you take the back of the chicken out, you cut it on both sides, and there'll be a video going to, for you to see that. And then you take it and lay it flat on your cutting board and just press. And I saved you the sound of the uh, cracking of the bones but you flatten that out and it goes down nice and flat and it will cook flat and cook a little bit quicker that way so I also mixed up some butter and a bunch of spices and garlic I trimmed the skin between the meat on the chicken and I stuffed butter and the seasonings right in there and then I put it I rubbed it all on top as well and I what I had left I put it all over the potatoes and onions I just kind of rubbed it on and then I salt and pepper added a little bit more seasoning some thyme and some sage and some more salt and pepper on top of the chicken as well and then I cut up, I quartered up a couple of apples and put those in here too. And we'll see how that tastes. That's about it. Now we're gonna go out to the fire and cook her up. Woo, that's hot. Okay, I think we're ready for some chicken.
gonna set that right on those coals just barely above it that way when it burns down it'll be the right height as you can see the coals in my bucket are quite warm trying to burn a hole in my bucket just take some of those Put those right on top like that. Put the rest back in the fire in case we need them for later. So he just turned that a half a turn and then turned the top just to keep it from burning and keep the temperature even. Yeah, it's probably done. This is over 200, 205. For those of you that don't know, um, poultry has kind of a safety temperature, and uh, you got to get it to be done. It's got to. It really should be over 160 degrees. What do we got now? 168. I would say that is done. One smash cook chicken. Oh, look at that. No. Save some for me. I will. All right. See you next time. See you guys time. later.